Welcome to the Getting Started with Spam Blocker video tutorial. During this brief video, I'll define Spam Blocker, explain how to set up and use Spam Blocker, and show you how to monitor Spam Blocker statistics. Unwanted email, or spam, can consume your company's bandwidth, reduce employee productivity, and waste network resources. Commercial mail filters use many methods to identify spam. Unfortunately, cyber attackers can often bypass these measures. So what can you do to stop these types of attacks? You can protect your network with Spam Blocker. Spam Blocker is a subscription service from WatchGuard that provides real-time spam detection by using a combination of rules, pattern matching, and sender reputation to accurately identify and block spam messages. Because Spam Blocker is a fully integrated security subscription for your Firebox, it provides an easy to manage, cost effective solution without additional hardware to purchase and maintain. With the basics covered, it's now time to dive into how to activate and configure Spam Blocker. Before you start working with Spam Blocker, make sure you have these items. If you don't have a Spam Blocker feature key, contact your WatchGuard reseller. Spam Blocker works with the WatchGuard POP3 and SMTP proxies to scan your inbound email. If you haven't already configured a POP3 or SMTP proxy policy, you can enable it when you configure Spam Blocker. First, you need to make sure that you have DNS servers configured for your Firebox. DNS is required to resolve connections to the cloud based Spam Blocker servers. To do that, in Policy Manager, select Network. Configuration, and then select the Wins DNS tab. Now it's time to activate Spam Blocker. In Policy Manager, open the Activate Spam Blocker wizard, like this. Use this dialog box to select which active policies you want to activate Spam Blocker for. As you can see, the Spam Blocker activation process couldn't be much easier. Select this checkbox to configure the Spam Blocker parameters. If you think back to the activation steps, remember that I enabled Spam Blocker for both the POP3 and SMTP proxy policies, which is why the policies are in this list. As you can see here, Spam Blocker is enabled for both policies. For each item in this list, select the policy and then click Configure. Select this checkbox if it isn't already selected and use these drop down menus to set the actions Spam Blocker will apply for confirmed spam, bulk email, and suspect email messages. Make sure these checkboxes are selected if you want to send log messages each time Spam Blocker takes an action. This drop down list specifies how your Firebox handles incoming email when the Spam Blocker server cannot be contacted. We recommend you use the default Allowed action. You can optionally use these tabs to add Spam Blocker exception rules and enable virus outbreak detection. For more information about these tabs, see Fireware Help. If you have activated Spam Blocker for more than one proxy policy, repeat these configuration steps for each remaining policy. You can click here to set your global spam blocker settings and optimize your spam blocker configuration. It's important to note that because some of these parameters affect the amount of memory that spam blocker uses on your Firebox, you'll want to balance spam blocker performance with other device functions. If you want to enable and configure VOD, select this checkbox. If you selected this checkbox, Use this text box to type or select the VOD file size limit. This is where you type or select the number of bytes of an email message to be passed to Spam Blocker to be scanned. Usually, 20 to 40K is enough for Spam Blocker to correctly detect spam. If image based spam is a problem for your organization, you can increase the maximum file size to block this type of spam. Here you can type the number of entries Spam Blocker caches locally for messages that have been categorized as spam or bulk. Why would you do this? A local cache can improve performance because it reduces network traffic to the spam blocker servers, but most people only change this setting when performing troubleshooting. The proactive patterns feature helps spam blocker identify and block new spam messages even before the recurrent pattern is added to the Siren database. Proactive patterns is enabled by default. 
This feature requires large amounts of space while the local database on your Firebox is updated. So if your device has limited memory or processor resources, you might want to disable this feature by clearing this checkbox. To restore the default spam blocker settings at any time, click here. If spam blocker must use an HTTP proxy server to connect to the Siren server through the internet, you must configure the HTTP proxy server settings in the spam blocker configuration on this tab. To improve spam scoring accuracy, you can use this tab to enter one or more host names or domain names of email servers that you trust to forward email to your email server. For more information about adding trusted email forwarders, see Fireware Help. Finally, remember to save the configuration file to your Firebox. Using spam blocker is key to protecting your network from unwanted email traffic, but knowing exactly what spam blocker is doing is just as important. To see statistics on your current spam blocker activity in the web UI, select Dashboard, Subscription Services. You can also look at the Subscription Services tab in Firebox System Manager for current Firebox statistics about spam blocker activity that occurred after the last device restart. You can use the reports from WatchGuard Dimension to monitor spam blocker activity. Reports are automatically generated from the log message data from your Firebox devices, fire clusters, and WatchGuard servers. All you have to do is make sure that you've correctly set up logging, apply the spam blocker settings to your policies, and then navigate to the Services section in Dimension to view the spam blocker data for your network. You can review Fireware Help for more information about using Dimension to protect your network. To learn more about spam blocker, visit the WatchGuard website.